Today's morning devotional. Conquering our doubts. O thou of little faith, wherefore didst thou doubt? Matthew chapter 14 verse 31. Wherefore didst thou doubt, said Christ to the sinking Peter. The same question may be addressed to us. The Lord has pledged himself to give us strength to enable us to stand. As we search the scriptures we find ground for confidence, provision for sufficiency. It is our privilege to say boldly, yet humbly, the Lord is my helper, therefore I shall not be moved from my steadfastness. My life is hid with Christ in God. Because he lives, I shall live also. Let us pledge ourselves before God and the angels of heaven that we will not dishonor God by speaking words of discouragement or unbelief. Close the door to distrust and open the door wide to faith. Invite into the soul temple the heavenly guest. You may have your choice as to who shall rule your heart and control your mind. If you choose to open the door to the suggestions of the evil one, your mind will be filled with distrust and rebellious questioning. You may talk out your feelings, but every doubt you utter is a seed that will germinate and bear fruit in another's life, and it will be impossible to counteract the influence of your words. You may be able to recover from your season of temptation, but others that have been swayed by your influence may not be able to escape from the unbelief you have suggested. How important it is that we speak to those around us only those things which will give spiritual strength and enlightenment. It is our duty to encourage faith, to talk faith that we may have faith. If we talk doubt and encourage doubt we shall have abundant doubt, for Satan will help us in this kind of work. We need sanctified hearts and sanctified lips. We need to breathe in the rich, bracing atmosphere that comes from the heavenly Canaan. Why should we fill the gallery of the mind with gloomy scenes of doubt? Why not let the bright beams of the sun of righteousness shine into the chambers of heart and mind, and dispel the shadows of unbelief? Turn to the light, to Jesus the precious Savior.